Hey, welcome to Refine Me. I'm Mel Wright. Today's video is about non-surgical rhinoplasty or in simple terms, non-surgical nose jobs. There's so many people out there that are not happy with the, either the shape or the size of their nose. Now for these people, they've got two options. They can either go down surgery, which is permanent root, or they can go down non-surgical, which is not so permanent because it wears off over a period of time. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the non-surgical route. As we're born, we have little button noses and over our lifetime, this tends to grow and change in shape and size. Not only does our nose change over our lifetime, but so does the bone underneath. As you can see in this picture of a skull, we have a hole directly under where our noses sit. As we age, this section of bone continually widens. These anatomy changes can cause the nose to change in both shape and size. So where the bone is widening over a period of time, our nose can appear more downturned and hooked. It can also appear wider. But one of the other things is it can appear longer as we age. Where you've lost volume in other areas and your cheeks become more sunk, for example, the nose seems like it protrudes more, whereas actually it doesn't, but other things have become more flat. One really simple way to correct this is with dermal filler. I use a dermal filler called hyaluronic acid and it's naturally found in our body so it's broken down like any other sugar molecule which is basically what a hyaluronic acid is. With specific placement of dermal filler you can change the shape of the nose so you can add filler to make it appear slightly straighter, you can make it appear slightly more turned up, you can also help the width of the nose but also you can make it appear less long by adding volume in specific areas. Now the way that I do non-surgical rhinoplasty is with something called a cannula. So it's basically a blunt needle. The anatomy of the nose is really complex, so the risks within this area are much higher than many other places on the face. So using a cannula and knowing the anatomy just reduces those risks, but also gives an absolutely fantastic result. If you found this video helpful and you would like any more information, please feel free to share my video, to comment and post any questions below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Alternatively, feel free to go to my website, www.refineme.co.uk, and I have an inquiry form on there. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you so much for watching.